Hi, this is Linda Burton. And this is Joseph Burton. With Fighting to Stay Married. Today I wanted to talk to you about um, keeping things bottled up inside and how that can harm your marriage. Wow, what does that really mean? Keeping it bottled up inside? Well, one of the things that uh, fight this podcast is all about, Fighting to Stay Married, is the things that we have to fight internally. The eternal struggles that we have. One thing that kind of sparked this conversation would be, um, I remember reading uh, in the news about this certain athlete's wife, how uh, she was, um, it, she kind of felt second, second fiddle. She kind of felt like she wasn't getting the attention, the same kind of attention that her husband received from, from the opposite sex. And then she kind of, you know, brought out to the table where she, she felt some, a certain kind of way about it. And then she got a lot of flack for it, and she got a lot of, and she also got a lot of support for it as well. But uh, people didn't quite understand is why do you, why are you looking for attention, like you know they would say from other men. But I think, in my personal opinion, I think she's absolutely right about bringing that kind of thing to light um, because it was bothering her. It was something that was that was happening inside of her. And I'm thinking if she wouldn't have said anything about it, um, you don't know where that would lead, though, what kind of doors that would open, uh, what kind of dark doors would open by keeping things bottled up inside like that. So it was good. I think it was a very good thing for her to bring it out. Well, what I hear you're saying is if something's bothering me, like if I feel insecure, then I need to share that with someone. Now, I agree with you, but I disagree to a certain point because I believe in sharing it with someone that's going to help me, not just share it with anyone and everyone. I, I'd rather share it with someone that can help me go through this situation or understand it or um, help me deal with that. That's that's a that's a valid point, but I think too is I mean I don't I don't know it, it, it just that's that part is questionable because. Uh, you know, a lot of people actually will thank you for sharing that because it helps them. But I just think that whether you keep it private in, a, in your inner circle or you make it public, I just still think it's good to, to um, you know, bring this stuff out into the light so that it won't, you won't give that power to go into dark places, whether it be other, you know, extra matter of uh, affairs, whether it be, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, whether it be plastic surgery or whatever, spending lots of money, just doing destructive patterns and, and, and doing destructive behaviors, I think it's a good thing to bring stuff out in the light because it, it, cause it loses its power. Darkness loses its power when you shine some light. I, I just like it, you know, I love examples like a, um, how much would you say a baby gorilla weighs? I have no idea. 20, 20 pounds? <laughs> 10 pounds? I don't know. But the point is, when the gorilla is a baby, or a small, I don't even know what you call them when they're small, when they're a baby gorilla, I mean, they're easy to pick up and move. You can move it whatever you want at, at, at will. But once that baby gorilla grows into a full-grown adult, mm. when does that gorilla move? When it wants to. Mm. You know, so it's it's harder to deal with it. It's hard, it, to, it has become so big, and you won't be able to control it when it gets that big. So you might as well just handle things when they're small. They might not seem small. They may seem real big, but guaranteed. But I guarantee you, it's gonna be a lot bigger down the road if you don't deal with it uh, quickly. And it's easier said than done, I know. I can understand that. I can understand that if something's bothering me, um, if I feel insecure in something, that I should be able to talk to someone that I trust to get it out so it won't grow and make me fall into that temptation or those things more. It could be my insecurity or it can be things that I might be struggling with. Like you were saying, it could be some type of addiction or, or affair or anything in that matter of looking at it, of letting it be known to someone that you really can trust and talk to and that can help you deal with that so it won't become bigger and mess yourself up as well as your relationship with the person. Yeah, because I remember me growing up and I think that's just part of who I was, but just keeping everything bottled up inside 
And as I grew older, got married and then start being around other people and groups and whatnot, they tell you to open up, keep a journal, whatever it is, uh, so you won't, you know, so you can have some kind of relief valve from this stuff that is happening to you. But for me, I went from one extreme to the next. So when you say have talk to someone, make sure you do choose people that you can trust because I went from not talking to anybody to talking to, to everybody. And when you do stuff like that, you you know, you you actually start sharing some things with people that really don't really care about you. And so um, having somebody to talk to that you trust, I think is very important. Because you can, now you gotta do some of the mess that you created by telling people stuff that really didn't have your best interest at heart. And they, they say some things to other people, spread some, some, some gospel or whatever. And now you gotta kind of backtrack and fix that and go to your partner and talk to them. But also I think too, I think some people are built or made or put on this earth to be able to handle things when they share it publicly. Because everybody's not able to do that. What do you mean? Like, because, you know, with this athlete's wife, she went on a public forum and and talked and, and, and expressed uh, what was going on with her. And now she's getting a lot of, you know, she's getting a lot of support too, but she's also getting a lot of backlash too. Because I don't think they really understand what she was saying. But I think some people are put on this earth to be able to, you know, make stuff go public like that and be able to handle what public throws at them. You know, some people are not built for that and having so many eyes on you because I mean she's a you know this wife is she's a you know she's a celebrity yeah her, her husband is a celebrity so you got all millions and millions of people with eyes on them yeah because even what we do we're doing it after we finish and learn from it and share our experience we're not actually talking about anything while we're in it we we are sharing with people to help them grow after we learned our lesson from it or at least have a clear picture of, of where we messed up so we won't make the same mistake again and that's the whole point of this is sharing it our mistakes and the things that we learned and the experience we went through afterwards it's easier to do it afterwards than why you're actually in it so that is very hard to do and that's very bold and i respect that when somebody can actually share why they're in it publicly you're right that is a lot harder than what we do of sharing it after the fact yeah because you could you imagine you know oh uh, you know 10 people knowing versus a million people knowing and uh, let alone afterwards they're not watching every detail that's going on. Correct. You don't feel like a soap opera that's going on. Correct. And after the fact, like us, we're doing, we're, t we're having an experience of kind of like we should have done it different or we wish right. we'd done that. And we don't have the eyes on us at that moment mm -hmm. so we can breathe. Correct. And with, with that person or with anyone that shares the experience of what's going right now, their hurts, their pain, their fear, and when they make it publicly or become public, especially um, famous people, anybody famous that's mm -hmm. in the spotlight, that has to be so hard on their marriage as well as with them within a feeling important, feeling th there's no privacy. Correct, correct. So I don't know, it, it's just, it, it's, it's a hard thing because we, it doesn't matter what level you are at in life. Uh, we all human and, and we're gonna experience human things emotions, what have you. It just, it's, it's just a scale that you're at. I think it's a good idea what you said of not letting that build inside of us, of sharing um, with someone we trust that most likely has been through the same thing or can pray with you about it, talk to you about it, be a sounding board, help you some way, somehow. And that you know that person won't share that information that they have to be trustworthy. Right, or you even might, bring it up in a later time. You trust them, but are they trustworthy? Right. You know. To share it with, to let it out, and to hold you accountable. There's accountability with that. Correct. You know, if, if, if I'm getting tempted to do something wrong, I need accountability. I'm not just saying it just to say it, I'm saying it because I need help. So I think that is a good point of sharing that 
with someone to help me go through it. And the best person should be your spouse, but it can't always be your spouse. That might not be the best person in every single situation. Correct. Um, and, and it's fighting to stay married thing, thing too is I just wanted to, you know, like reiterate about the internal struggles because I mean, we're married and of course you got all the external forces, you know, people, things, jobs, whatever. But a lot of the stuff that it builds with inside of us and that can be harmful too to a marriage. And that fighting to stay married, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like sometimes you got to battle yourself. You got to battle your own mind because if, if you let your own mind and your own feelings get the best of you, you can be one of the ones that destroy your marriage. And then you're looking at your spouse thinking that they were the problems with them, but when it's actually inside of you. Fighting to stay marriage is something like, you know, you gotta constantly be on the guard, on the lookout, on the offense about external things and internal things. I know I don't have all the pretty words or the fancy or big words, but real, real is real, right? And cause that's how we don't go around talking like that at home. I, I just want to reiterate. So, I mean, I just want to, us to realize that, you know what? If you have things that you kept, you got in bottle up inside, make sure you find some kind of way with people that you trust, uh, some kind of inner circle, uh, something to make sure those things don't stay bottled up inside. Because I think what that does is that leads you down to dark places because you're trying to figure it out on your own. And you, you know, we're not here for that. We're not here to figure out everything on our own. We need other people, other trustworthy people people that you know that care about you and have your your well-being your best uh they want the best for you mm -hmm. right best interest. and and that's hard to find those people yes it is when you do find one you know it though you know that they're there no matter what to to talk to you and to guide you um and sometimes they even bring out the, the knowledge that you don't even realize you have a baby gorilla building you. They come to you and, and they address it. And those are the people that you need to listen to. They're, they're identifying it. They care about your relationship. They care about you. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes two healthy people to have a healthy relationship. Correct. If, if the relationship cannot be any healthier than the person that's least healthy. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget, um, just like we look at the picture, you got the woman in her wedding gown, you got the man in his tux. They both have these fighting gloves on, and they're trying to protect that union. They're trying to protect uh, themselves um, and outsized forces from that marriage that they have. So subscribe on YouTube and leave your comments, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening.